The race for the White House now and tomorrow's high stakes primary in New York. Bernie Sanders hoping for an upset after his biggest rally ever in Brooklyn this weekend. Hillary Clinton kicked it up in Washington Heights, breaking into a Latin dance as a new national poll shows the race tighter than ever a virtual tie. ABC Cecilia Vega tonight on the New York battle that could be decisive for the Democrats. On the eve of the vote, neither side can afford to lose the final Exciting. push. Cheers <laughs> to victory tomorrow. Hillary Clinton trying to avoid an embarrassing loss in her adopted home state and tonight letting slip what a win here would mean. I am hoping to do really well tomorrow. I'm hoping to wrap up the Democratic nomination. But I'm All right. Bernie Sanders took the Big Apple by storm too. Today on foot, strolling through Midtown Manhattan. But the crowds on the streets, nothing compared to that mammoth rally in his native Brooklyn. New York State helped lead this country into the political revolution. Sanders may have the momentum, but what he needs now is votes. If he loses New York by 10 points, Sanders will need to win 80% of the remaining delegates to clinch the nomination. Now Donald Trump is unveiling his new unflattering nickname for Clinton. Crooked Hillary. On this week, Clinton telling George, bring it on. I don't respond to Donald Trump and his string of insults uh, about me. I can take care of myself. And today, Clinton found her own name for Trump. Does Donald Trump scare you at all? I think he's the donkey of the decade. <laughs> Who knows what they're going to say next? And Cecilia joins us now from a Bernie Sanders rally in Queens. And, and, and Cecilia, he's been getting such huge crowds. But one of the big questions, how many of them can actually vote for Bernie tomorrow? <laughs> Well, George, independents are barred from voting here in the Democratic primary in New York, and that is a voting block Bernie Sanders has done especially well with. In fact, he has lost all three contests where independents were barred from voting. But take a look at this crowd here behind me tonight, George. There is no question he's got the momentum right now.